Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today is April 13, 2012 and today's video is about cannibalistic oxalotls. Um, you can see here that I have one that's way bigger and one that's smaller. And look at the small one. Poor little thing is skinny because he wasn't getting enough food and this little guy was eating up these frozen bloodworm cubes. And this big guy here, which I believe is the male anyways, um, tore off her tail and one of her legs, her left leg, and snipped just a tiny bit of the gills, but the good thing about oxalotls is they regenerate their body parts. So this guy here, I put in a cube one day, and it was gone by like a couple of hours later. And I looked at the tummy of this one, I was like, well, you didn't really get enough. Then I looked at this one, and he had a nice red tummy. This one was already bigger anyways, the leucistic one here, the white one. And this one was smaller, which is normally the way I would sell my oxalotls um, because the males tend to grow faster than the females from my experience. And for some reason, this is the first time it's happened. I probably shouldn't keep them. I'm not gonna, I actually have this one separated. And I'm going to put her in here, back in here. They were actually both in here. Let's see, the bottom is too small and the top is wide. And they were too close to each other all the time. And when he got hungry, he just tore off the limbs. And you see how he just bit that and made it fly around? Well, this little female, or this little oxalotl, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate her into her own container. And he's going to be in his own. But um, these little guys tend to be cannibalistic for up to one year. After a year old, they tend to kind of grow out of it a little bit, but they still can be. It's just because they're growing and they're very hungry and it's in their nature to just eat everything in sight so they can grow very quickly to become the big healthy ones. Now these guys, um, depending on the sex, like the males, they can grow from 12 to 14 inches long. And depending on the enclosure that you have as well, um, they will get bigger or they will still stay a little bit smaller. Males are bigger than females and males do have a, a bulge on the back end where the testicles would be at and um, these little guys can be aggressive at this age and this guy here is big he's the size of my entire finger he's exactly one finger length now this poor little thing's hungry look at it wiggle I'm try to get some of this this uh, leucistic one he actually will eat from a little tube that I provide for him I have um, one of those um Look at her. I have a, what do they call it? A pipit, I think it is. And I can feed him, he'll actually come up and eat. He grew very quickly. I wanna make sure this little one eats because when this little one eats, um, that's when the body will start to generate the new limb. But you can tell right there, look at that entire half back end was completely severed off by this bigger one. It's so sad. Let's see if we can zoom in. Now you see? A little bit of blood too. But, yeah, these guys will not be together, especially since he grew way too fast and she didn't, but she wasn't able to get the food. So they're not going to be together anymore. The um, big one will be in here while the smaller one will be in this glass vase that you can put plants in. Alright, so if you guys have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, woo, get away from him. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And um, if you'd rate the video, I'd appreciate that. And if you could subscribe, I would love for you guys to subscribe. That way I can keep on making these videos for you. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.